Basically, uh, there isn't much new gear on the album. Me and Mike both use Mesa Boogie products, but guitar and bass. Um, I still use the same rig I've been using for quite some time, as does Mike. We might have some more cabinets, because we're just like more and more and more when everyone else is going less, less, less. So um, I think there's only one pedal that we didn't use, that I didn't use on the last album, and that is the MXR. I think it's M300 reverb pedal, or maybe it's R300 reverb pedal. Um, it's a it's a kind of a unique pedal. You can get some unique tones with some of the modern settings. It kind of has a wet chorus reverb, uh, and you can blend it, and you can use an expression pedal to it. I use it on just a, just a couple parts. It's more like an interlude thing. Um, I, I I switched from the older Whammy with the treadle to uh, Whammy Ricochet um, by Digitech and I used two of those. One is a dry octave and the other is a double octave for the real super rabid pterodactyl screechy parts on the guitar. Um, still use Dunlop picks and strings myself. Uh, Jackson Warrior, Japanese Warriors, the same ones I've used. Uh, Luscious Jackson has been on every album since Entity. Yes. Uh, and that's a Jackson Warrior. Um, as far as anything else, oh, we did uh, use a Neural DSP plugin uh, just to. Um, I use a lot of gain, so um, and that creates a white noise, and to get a little bit more grip, grit and grip, uh, so you can hear a little bit more of my picking hand and more, a little bit more articulation. We use a Neural DSP plugin uh, to get a, a more balanced. Uh, tonality.